Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode 45, the Michael Jordan comeback episode of Let's Play Celasta, Island of Domination. Remember, he wore 45 there for a while. Uh, oh, man. Showing my age, I guess. But um, hope you guys... I was a kid, for the record. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're getting right into this. I'm excited. Last episode, I think we did some inventory stuff and a little bit of combat. We ended with some inventory stuff. So today, we're going to search for the missing sibling. The sister who was out fishing with her brother, she ran off and possibly got captured. We're going to head back to the River Confluences where we had... One of the roughest battles so far against a ton of wild men. We're a glutton for punishment, so we're going to return there and uh, do our best to find the sibling. Unless I kind of have an inkling to go to one of the orc cave or the goblin cave that we started out on. Huh. What should we do? I think we're all ready to go, though. Um, oh, we have... We have that chick with us. That chick. Rhea Harfell. She has joined the squad for our fifth member. Um, she's going to help a lot with her healing and stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's head to the monastery exterior and head through the jungle. And uh, we should make some ground here heading to the river confluences. I think this is what I'm going to do. There's so much content. We're 37 hours in and still haven't met three of the factions and still haven't done even close to half of the quests that we picked up already. The content is staggering. It's lovely, lovely stuff. You know, I'm a sucker for huge RPGs. And this is a huge one, which I just absolutely love. Uh, okay, how do we get there? The town, fast travel hub. I think it's exit to jungle road here. Come over here. Um, head out. So we're going to be in the jungle. And I guess we'll just head to the river confluences. We can always do the goblin cave, I guess, some other time. I don't know. I kind of want to go back there and, and wreak revenge. Maybe we can get there from here. Probably not. I don't know. Let's see where we're at here. To the jungle crossroads. To the river confluences to the farm farmland surrounding going further into the jungle see these plants are re-growing but i'm not gonna go pick them all uh camp huh how do we let's go to the river confluences Follow the trail parallel to the river to the confluences where multiple rivers meet close to town. Maybe from here we can go further south back to the swamps and do the goblin cave because I'm sure by this point we can handle the goblin cave and see at least what they were doing in there. There's the ancient sewers we haven't seen. That's got to be ridiculously tough. But we are like level 10, so we're about halfway, level 9 or 10. About halfway to max level. I do have the mod installed for taking it to level 20. Um, standing stone to town. Okay, so follow the river south. 
Let's see, should we come over here? How do we reach there? Oh, wow. Most impressive. Most impressive indeed. Nibiria made a ridiculous jump there. How did she do that? That was wicked. Wicked cool. Alright, let's just head south. Uh, I think this is where we're searching for the uh, lost siblings. She may have been taken into a cave, I think. Oh, Marcel. This is interesting. More content, perhaps? Five Gallivan Amaranth. Marcel, you're new. I should detect good or evil. Greetings, travelers. How are you? I have something I could use your help with and be willing to pay you for. What do you need help with? Some goblins the other day broke into my house while I was out fishing with my boy. They stole a few baubles, but the thing I'm worried about is that they stole an old gift from my late wife. It's a small statuette with an engraving on it meant for her, for me, for when we first met. It's one of the few things the boy and me have to remember her by. It's not worth anything except sentimental value, and I know where it is. You see, the goblins are camping out in the abandoned shack just across the river to the southeast. If you can go and get it for me and bring it back, I'll give you a small diamond that's worth far more than the statuette, and I'll let people around here know how helpful you are. What do you say? Sure, we'll get it for you. You will? Thank you so much. As I said, it's just a short distance across the river to the southeast. You can almost hit the shack with a rock from here. I don't imagine the goblins will just let you take it, though. New quest started. More content. There's a child. There's a chest. I mean, they just let us take the chest anyway, so... Five rations. Uh... Take it. Hello, child. Daddy says people like you can camp here if you wanted. Thank you, sir. Sir, youngin. Right, let's come up here to the southeast, so we're going the right distance. I mean, the right direction. Two dragon rows. Alright, let's go fight some goblins, I guess. Wasn't planning on it, but hey. What's good for the goose? It's good for the gander. See how tough these goblins are. Oh. To the jungle confluences. Okay. That's different. Um is it in the jungle confluences or is it somewhere across here? There's a little path here. Oh, yep. Abandoned shack. Here we go. Wow. Oh, very weak goblins. Very weak goblins. All right, Ellen dear. Uh, we're just gonna run right in. Um, ranged attack on. You. Oh boy. I'll get you yet. I don't want to... I don't want to block up this path here, so let's just come back. They're all going to run toward us anyway, so... Calandra. Oh, you're 
third level five spell slots are available. Uh, get this goblin cutthroat. Uh, pass on the first smite. Goblin skirmisher. Oh. Going up top. The barrier. Swing, bada bada, swing! Dead. Swing, bada bada. Precise. That's battle! Oh, it's got like. Okay. Oh, it's a battle indeed. Skirmisher coming up here. I think I put Nibiria out in the open a little bit. Oh. Wow, actually hit Nibiria. Okay. Goblin cutthroats. Pretty simple battle either way. There is a shaman involved. There's no chief that I can see. The archers only get one attack. Zoe. Oh no, this is Rhea. Okay. Rhea, um... What the heck? can't get over here? Oh. Zoe's taking up her spot, so... An acid arrow for 44 on this goblin cutthroat. Useful spell. We have to remember she's not quite as tough Ooh. as, uh, the rest of our party because she doesn't have the equipment that everybody else has. Wish we could just do a whirlwind attack. Boom. Zoe. Uh, they just strike with chaos. Piercing. Oh. oh. Wow. Okay. Goblin Shaman just hit for 18 lightning damage. From long range. From way downtown. Huh. Round two, Illendir. Nasty, over 30 damage. Uh, Zoe's got to move. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's a crit. That's a crit. Just where it hurts most. Or just 11 damage. Yep. Uh, let's move Zoe. Huh, did not roll disadvantage there for some reason. Still trying to figure that out. You'll die like the rest. I thought her cloak resets each turn, but maybe not. Yeah, do an action search. Nice. Bravo! Victory is yours! Bravo. Bravo. Let's come over this way. Oh. Oh, I thought maybe she could counter. She might be out of gambits already. No, she has one left. I'm gonna get over near that shaman. Wow, hit Rhea from there. Seeing over the trees. That's pretty interesting. do my best to keep Rhea alive, of course. Here comes Rhea. She's always in the way again. 
Oh, let's acid arrow. Goblin cutthroat. A veteran goblin who became a skilled killer. More. Acidified. Hmm. Not that easy. Zoe. Um. Actually, come here. Do a little tipsy doodah. We will. Too far to charm, but. Bonus action. I didn't realize we can cast this as a bonus action. Let's put. So she can cast like ensnaring strike or in uh, smite, whatever it was. Inflaming smite, and then go ahead and attack with that benefit available. So that I did not realize. Now she can attack the shaman and maybe kill. Because that was a bonus. Yeah, we'll strike of chaos. Oh, he's saved. Oh, no, he's dead. Alright, cool. No more shaman to worry about. Her displacement cloak works fine. Maybe it means until the end of... Maybe it's worded wrong, the cloak of displacement. And it actually functions until you get hit and then it's done for the combat, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, a didn't telling kill. blow. <clears throat> Dead. Swinging that axe. We've never heard of a warlock with a great axe, but it seems to work for us. Iberia. Um, chop you up. Bleed. Oh, they're bleeding. Boom. Yeah, she's not rolling. Oh, that's Rhea Harfell they attacked. It's our last gambit. Attacking Rhea. Uh, she has bonus spells. That she can cast. I'll have to check that out. No quarter given. Nicely done. Spiritual weapon. Come down and clunk for the kill. Clunk. Oh. Missed. Where are you going? As Chris Smoot would say. That was weird. Get the deer. Uh. Forge ahead. Oh. oh, bad luck. Dash here. Clondra. Wow. Fortune is fickle. <laughs> First time I heard her say that, too. Nibiria. Got well him. Struck. She 
can attack again. Wow. Okay, one enemy left, it looks like. From there, oh, there's a goblin. Oh, wait, there are more. Pop a shot. You lose. Dead. Uh, spiritual weapon. The goblin's hiding. Oh, it's a goblin in a cage? Or it's on the cage. Uh -huh. Death Dead. reaches out for you. Calandra. Skirmisher could not run much further. Evil Dead. Victory, Victory. Is mine. 912 XP. I still didn't check the bestiary, which I wanted to do to see how different monsters are represented and stuff. Huh, I can't seem to grab that loot for some reason. That's not good. Huh. Grab the Menacalon Orchid. Let's see if I come up here, if maybe that loot will be included in this pile. I hope so. Okay, we've got five silver. Five. Five. Ooh, deep pain, poison bolts. Nice. Five gold. Ten regular arrows. A regular arrow. A ration. Scimitars and short bows and a torch. Oh, it did not. Oh no. Did that goblin have the item? Oh no, there's a chest. So it shouldn't be too much that we missed from that goblin, although. Oh no. Five silver. Wonder why it won't let me grab it. Six silver, six copper, one copper, five silver, four silver, four copper, three copper, four silver. Wow, six silver, four silver, six gold, silver piece, three silver, three copper, four copper. Arivad's Kiss Poison Bolt, wow. Regular arrows, arrow. Dark Stab Poison Bolt. Arrow. And Corrosive Bolt. 1d4 Acid Damage. Iberia can grab the rest of this stuff. Scimitars, bows, and a torch, and a ration. Huh, there's more. Um, same stuff. Eight arrows. We'll give it to those. Deep Pain Poison Bolts. Long Night Poisoned Arrows, 1d4, and Inflicts Poison. Nifty. It's going to be a long night if they get hit with that. Deep Pain Poison Bolt. Nice. So I'm really curious what this goblin has, but I think the game is going to deny us. Uh, five silver, five copper, six copper. Four silver, a scroll of jump, and a torch. Oh, come on, man. There's just no getting that, huh? Is 
there a pickup button? Let's check the settings. Yeah, let's do that. Change a little bit of the immersiveness. Um, huh, so whatever that goblin has is going to stay a mystery. But we can come here, or oh, quick save actually. Come here and check what's in this stash box. It looks like we've got the small statuette. Looks to be of sentimental value to someone, judging by the engraving in it to the most beautiful Valerie you love, Marcel. A backpack, two healing remedies, and a scroll of revivify, which never have enough of those. Man, I don't know. It seems to me like that goblin would have something. But it's probably just mundane items, actually. Huh. one loot that wasn't meant to be. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Let's go return the statue, unless we can come over here and there's something... No. We'll come down this way. Clear some of this brush here. Anything here? Empty. All right, Marcel. Here you go, sir. Quick little quest for some fun. Greetings, travelers. Did you manage to get that statuette yet? Yes, yeah, right here. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Here, as promised, a diamond for you. Diamond. Um, 800 XP, a diamond. Let's see. Can you tell us about the area? Wait, who are you? The name is Marcel Potts. Me and my boy live here. My wife lived with us until she passed away a few years ago from consumption. Spend most of my time fishing or the evenings in the tavern. Can you tell us about the area? Good fishing. <laughs> Otherwise, not much to say. This is what the locals call the confluences where the rivers flow down from the mountains. Many of them meet up here as they continue to the swamp and the coasts to the south. Not much going on around here besides some goblins and wild men pass through here to avoid town as they go around it. To the south, though, is when things get hairy. As the rivers flow into the swamps, you start seeing much scarier monsters over there. I've even seen a Remoraz once when I went that way, so stay the hell away, I'm telling you. Can you just give us some directions? Lost, are you? Sure, head to town. To head to town, just go straight east from here. Should be able to see it as you come around the trees. Go north and that takes you to the jungle crossroads. The jungle crossroads split off, west going to the monastery, east to the farmlands around town. And north takes you to the road that goes around the mountain to the other side of the island through the jungle. To the southeast on the way to town, you might see some overgrown ancient building. That's the ancient sewers runoff. Don't go in there. Many dangerous creatures inside there will eat up travelers like yourselves. Though there are rumors that there's a way through the ancient sewers going north into the dead marshes. The marshes between the monastery and the cemetery and the other side of the cemetery gates they locked up. And if you go straight south, that follows the rivers as they flow into the jungles, and eventually the swamps surrounding the coasts. It's extremely dangerous down there, though, since the curse. Creatures and hags roam the place, so it's not safe for anybody. What did you need help with? Nothing important, but I could use a little bit of help. You see, I make my fishing lures out of feathers, but the best feathers for around here to use are giant crow feathers. Aha. If you can get me 20 giant crow feathers, I will give you this good luck stone I found while fishing. It's magical. I even got the mystic in town to look at it. What say you? 
Sure, why not? Great, come back when you've got 20 of these giant crow feathers and I'll give you the stone. Not sure any specific place to find them. Check around the farmlands or in the jungles. Wow, finally. Uh, we have a use for the crow feathers. Do you need to help with... You got those feathers yet? Sure do. Really? Thank you so much. I know what I'm doing later. Gonna make myself the best lures on the island. Here, as promised, a magical good luck stone. Thanks again. Stone of good luck. 3,000 XP. No level up, though. Let's see if there's anything more we can do with him. Did you need help with anything else? Nothing now. Thanks for all your help. Cool. Thank you, Marcel. So, that was exciting. Um, Bardock Weston, he's the one who said go south along the rivers to find his sister. But there's really no further place to go south except... Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, what is this? Some cat Is that the ancient sewers runoff? Okay, I'm going to quick save. Um, be right back, guys. Okay, back. Uh, we have a few minutes left. Let's um, come up here, I guess. Where is there still to go? Like how Calandra just walks up the side and no care is given. Empty. That was Goblin Zone. Uh, oh, further in. Okay. Oh, should we take a short rest? Um, no, not really. Famous last words. This is going south, though, along the river where... Ah. Bears. Get, we have to break the line of sight to be cautious. That's not going to happen. Storm Heather, here we go. Let them come. Wow, it's a whole bear reunion family. I don't know. Badlands bear has 100 HP. Oh my gosh. Brown bears have 34 HP. 100 HP for them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know. They might have some wisdom because they're bears and all. Bears are pretty smart, but... Let's go ahead and hypnotic pattern them, see what happens. Yeah, the Badlands bears. Okay, that works, actually. We'll come back here. Fun battle to end the episode with. Very good. Calandra. Uh, it wouldn't do too good against Blight, I don't think. Arcana Necro Violence. 46. Nice. Deer can come up and chop chop. Knock a hunk of this health off. Oh dear. Maybe not. 11. Niberia. This is good because the the other bears would have to go around here to get over here. You have them now. Oh, we should have took the short rest to get action surge back. Rhea Harpo doesn't have a ranged attack. Uh, can cast another acid arrow, I guess. That's the way. Wow, twenty one critical hit. <laughs> nice. So, 
trail bear. Another brown bear. They're all going on this path. I get a lot of pelts. That bear can't go anywhere. It's stuck. Um, so we could pop off at it. We'll smite it. Strike of chaos it. Nice. Searing Smite, extra 1d6, fire damage ignites it in flames. Concentration loss on what, exactly? Oh, Hypnotic Pattern, yeah, forget that. Calandra, uh... Double up there. Wow. Next time, I swear. Ilandia. Nabiria. Again, harder. Harder, you say? There we are. Harfell. Um, notice that uh, Illidir has not been throwing his dagger. Try again, which is good. In the offhand now. That bear's confused. Clearly, successfully, it's no longer disabled. Um, pop off at it. I like that. Nifty. Oh, I wanted to do... Oh, no. Right, it breaks concentration. Calandra. We'll just go bomb bomb. There we go. 13 damage. I trained hard for this. Nice. 27 damage. Maybe you get a kill. Oh, no gambits left. Rhea, uh, can't dazzle it because she cannot reach. Dazzle's a touch spell, really? Melee hit. No reaction. Bear's now dead. Boom. Wow. Quadra for the kill. No. Not bad, eh? A little excited about nine damage, but that's okay. It's all good. 750 XP. More knowledge about bears. Let's check out some of these pelts now. Iberia can carry them. We've got Badlands Bear Meat worth 20. The Badlands Bear Pelts are worth 25. The Brown Bear Pelts are worth 20. More meat. And an arrow. Very nice, very nice indeed. Did we get the flower in time? Always worry about that. Yes. All right, let's come over here. Looks like there's more pathway to go. I don't expect many humanoids up this way because, oh, five gallon and amaranth because of the bears out here, kind of keeping them away, but there's something going on here. We'll find out next time, guys. We're going to take a short rest. 
I want to thank you guys for joining me, as always. Don't forget, if you'd like to become a member to my channel, you have that ability to do so. It is as simple as $4.99 a month or $9.99 a month, and it greatly helps out the channel, so check that out if you'd like. Appreciate you guys very much, though. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying... Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're enjoying the LP, if you've been checking it out or not, but... Next time, we'll explore this weird area with the tall castle wall thing or whatever and see what's going on back here. So, hope to see you guys then. Hope you'll join me. Uh, successful episode 45. Much love, peace, and joy. Take care and all good things to you, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay cool, my babies. Bye-bye.